Martha McSally, who represented Arizona as both a congresswoman and a U.S. senator, was sexually assaulted while out for a run near Omaha, Nebraska. Council Bluffs, Iowa police say they're investigating the incident, which McSally discussed on her Instagram account not long afterward. A man came up behind me and he engulfed me in a bear hug and he molested and fondled me until I fought him off. Fighting off her attacker isn't how McSally's fight against him ended, though. She chased after him until he hid in some brush, and that's when she called 911. Police were unable to locate the suspect, however. As the first female combat fighter pilot in U.S. military history, would we expect anything less from Martha McSally than to fight her attacker? It's something she says she needed to do, take her power back, because this sexual assault has brought up awful feelings from past sexual assaults. Even though I've interviewed Martha McSally many times, I wouldn't say that I know her really well, except I feel like I know that she's a good person because off the air, away from the spotlight, every time I've run into her outside of a studio, she's taken time to talk with my little girls. It means the world to a girl dad like me to be able to introduce my young ladies to a strong woman who's overcome so much. Not only the hurdles she had to fly over to achieve the rank and respect she did as a woman in the U.S. Air Force, but also getting past the sexual assaults she experienced before and during her time in the military. She's the kind of woman I hope my girls emulate. Be like Martha. Take on her fighting spirit. Except in this one case, because dear God... I hope that if my girls ever encounter the horror that Martha McSally just did again, that they don't chase down their attacker, because I'd rather have an emotionally broken child than a dead one.